go and see everybody what we're going to be doing with these melts so in here as you can see this is actually my slow cooker and this is what I actually melt down all of my oils butters anything like that but this one is designated just for candles I do have two so my other ones over the other side but we are in the candle area here so this is a little part of my little uh, studio at the back so we'll take off the lid and inside it we will uh, have a little look and I'll show you the wax it's all melted down so let's just take a bit of a look so you can see here it's all melted down and then basically once it melts down then I turn it off so you can see like I've turned this off so if it's on you'll see the light on but I've turned it off about 20 minutes ago and I basically try and leave this because what I want it to do is just you know cool down a little bit and I only ever set it on low uh, because we want it to get to the right temperature so you can see in here it's looking beautiful I want this to be roughly about 55 60 degrees uh, Celsius at the very most so then I'm going to pour it into the pitcher which is just over here so let's just check this out I'm going to pop the camera down and we will just check the temperature to see that it's all going beautiful actually I can still hold it and do this so I'm going to use my infrared and usually what I do is just click on it and we'll see so it says 56 even though it went to 49 when I took it away but um, if you can kind of see that it says 56 and that's perfect so let's just get it out we're going to weigh it on our scale and then I'll show you how I'm going to color it and we're going to make some beautiful uh, watermelon fairy melts so now I've torn out my scale you can see my jug in here it does have some wax from before but that's okay it doesn't matter now one thing when you're using wax I am actually using coconut soy so the thing is if you use coconut soy in a wax melt it is actually too soft to make it so usually you're going to use a tart wax but you can also use your normal wax and then just add some beeswax or there's also some vegan alternatives to that as well I'll pop some links in to the video so that you can see where you can actually get these from I actually buy the blocks from Sud Off and these blocks are really great you just pop one in so pretty much I usually pop in the whole block um, for filling up this and I think this uh, melter here goes to about I think it's roughly about three liters so it will do roughly I think it's two or three liters in here anyway and then I just pop the block in but it's usually about you know say three to five percent of beeswax and it's just amazing and then it's just going to make it be nice and hard in the mold so like I said let's just um, do this we're going to just pour in the wax and my melter does not get that hot either so I'm holding it by hand it's not hot at all and let's just get to what we want so I'm going to just pop this in here for now so I've got 930 roughly um, in here and this is um, grams so we're talking about grams in here and so now I'm just going to be adding in you know um, my fragrance now also everyone you don't need to be adding in a massive amount in here either I know lots of people think that they have to add in 10% or something you don't I generally only work on 9% um, and it is ready for me to add this in so we're going to add uh, 92 grams in here so I'll make sure this is right don't go adding too much if you add too much the wax can actually seep out of the melts and then it is no good so we are just going to stir this up so let's move you a little closer so here you go you can see it in here and any other um, wax that you had on the side the wax is going to uh, melt that the heat sorry is going to melt it so don't worry about that too much and what I usually do is just give it a stir for like a minute it doesn't have to be a massive stir and like I said we're going to be making watermelon so today what we're going to be doing is pouring it into the silicon molds that I've already got and then I will show you how I'm actually going to box them up I actually purchased these little white boxes that are perfect for the chocolate melts um, well, it looks like a candy bar kind of chocolate melt, but obviously it's not. It's for, for candle wax. Um, and what I actually do is I just pop them in these, the little boxes. You can wrap them up in paper. I used to put them in a plastic bag, but now I've been actually wrapping them in a waxproof paper because I'm trying to get away from as much plastic and landfill as I can. So that's why um, I'm doing them this way now and everyone is um, telling me they really love it they love the change which is really nice 
so that's what we're going to be doing later on but of course we need to just make sure the wax combines and do remember when we're talking about wax the reason that the temperatures are so important it's not just to make it look good it's also because wax you know especially soy wax has little molecules and those molecules need to absorb and combine with the fragrance oil otherwise the fragrance oil seeps out or it will be a really ugly top so that's why we're actually doing that so now let's just check our temperature the temperature says 50 I want this to get to about 45 um, before I'm going to pour it now usually you'll notice that I let my wax get to roughly 42 to 43 degrees uh, Celsius and then pour it but the reason that I'm actually letting it get stay a little bit hotter is it also has beeswax and beeswax will start to dry up faster so that's why I'm doing that so now this is done but now I'm going to show you what I generally do um, and I'm going to change it a little bit so in here I have two jugs um, or little paper cups actually um, and what I'm going to do is pour a little bit in each and this is just to show you what I'm going to do and because I want half to be green half to be um, like a ready pink um, and because I'm making a watermelon one I kind of want it to look like watermelon and then I'm going to show you what I'm going to do so we're going to add some mica into it so let me just grab a spoon and we'll add some so I have this beautiful green I mean look how gorgeous this green is doesn't it look a fab so which is like half a tablespoon into this little cup um, you can use whatever you want just don't add too much because otherwise it's going to be a little crazy so the green that I'm using I'm getting this from Sud Off and this is called apple green and then I'm going to be using another one called blazing red because that's kind of like the red part of the watermelon I'll add that into that side and we're going to mix them up and then once I mix them up they will be absolutely ready um, you know to pour into the mold so we'll just get a little kebab stick so that we can mix it in make sure you mix all of it in you don't want bits of mica just sitting on the top because um, it can look a bit um, you know messy and then it can kind of leave that horrible like stained kind of color so this one's all done I mean look how beautiful that is can you see that green so lovely and then we will do the red and then I'm going to get the mold and show you what I'm going to do uh, so if you want to add you know any glitters or anything you can remember we're only using mica because this has no wick melts don't have a wick but if it was a candle don't add mica because it will clog up the wick and it won't burn properly but anyway that's for now so let's get the mold and get the next bit happening so here we are adding a bit of bio glitter so you can just kind of drop that in the top um, you don't have to add this but I wanted to add this to be super duper fun so we'll pop them all in there and now let me show you how I get my two colors so we've got the two colors we're just going to give them a little bit more of a mix and you can see that these are super super fun colors so literally you're just going to hold one hopefully you can see me so hold one from either end and we're just literally going to pour it in and once you bring it to the top of this mold this means it's going to be um, 50 grams so let's just do this and they're going to look a little bit beautiful if I need to add some more then I'll just add them to the same cup so I hope you see how pretty this is we can definitely um, you know do this no problems at all and then just add a little bit more mica and you can still use the same um, you know jugs as we go along and as I said you know we're just going to add a little bit more green but doesn't need to be as you know bright if you don't want it to I mean you can make it a bit lighter but I'm going to add just a weeny bit more into the um, red one and like I said then we're going to keep going and make them all gorgeous so I hope this has shown and it, oh later on after lots of people ask me about cleaning up these molds um, all you need to do is just wash them in really hot water obviously make sure there's no wax left in them um, in really hot water just with a scrubbing brush and a little bit of soap that's how I actually do all of mine um, and it, it, they come out really good so you know 
you don't need to do anything fancy everybody um, you can just do something like that and then look this is how we can get the two colors so doesn't it look super fun don't worry if you make a mess like me because I'm a messy <laughs> I'm a messy little chef I always say um, but you know then you can make these totally and utterly beautiful now I will get going I'll keep going with this I'm going to bring you back when I'm up to the next bit of course and the next bit of course is going to be taking these out of the molds and um, we'll move that one aside and making these beautiful here they are everyone just sitting in here of course they are not solidified yet but they are looking beautiful aren't they so don't you love those bold colors and I absolutely love them sod off have just some absolutely amazing colors so I'll show you something over the other side that I'm doing as well let's go over there now I do actually have these amazing containers so the first one is the Barry's Daughter the second one that you can um, see here this one here is actually the watermelon one and what I'm actually doing in these is I'm going to be doing these particular containers and they have eight little holes in them I just have a couple of them these were actually given to me or gifted to me from Crafty Space and depending how they go it might depend whether I sell lots more of them or not but in here this will just give people a little bit of a chance to to see what they think to try many of them and not just one so this is exactly what I'm going to be doing so I hope you love this I just think they look really really beautiful but as I said you know this will give you a little bit of a try so I'll leave the links as well for crafty space how to actually buy these um, particular molds and I know they're going to be getting lots more different ones in as well and we are very excited to see crafty space in the 2024 um, soaping an uh, Australian soaping and candle conference because they will actually be there showing you their products which is super super exciting I'm really excited that they are going to um, be a part of that and I'm sure you're going to love it so anyway we'll let these ones solidify and I will show you what they look like in a moment I am back everybody it's been about an hour and a half maybe even two hours now and look at these beautiful colors so you can see this is the one that was a bit brighter and then this was the one that's light up but either one of them is gorgeous so all we're going to do is open this up I just want to show you how gorgeous it looks and fingers crossed it's looking amazing look how beautiful that looks doesn't that look nice I think next time I probably could have added a little bit more beeswax to make it a little bit more shiny because can you see how it's got these you know a little bit of frosting on it um, sometimes that does happen when you don't have enough beeswax or whatever but you know it's fine see every now and then you'll get a beautiful one but anyway like I said these are looking a bit beautiful aren't they so they do feel nice and hard which is really good we'll just pop them um, aside and then of course I'm going to wrap these up uh, look you know the one thing that I usually try and tell everyone don't worry about you know trying to make something absolutely perfect because sometimes you know we try and make them so perfect and then we're not happy with the end result you can see those ones don't have the um frosting on so obviously the second ones have cooled down a lot more so it was much happier being cooler but you know don't worry too much my friends about everything else there's nothing we can do about it we've just got to try our best um you know but sometimes i think as candle or soap makers we're so worried about something being perfectly smooth a little mark on it but, you know these are naturally organically made with our hands so you know don't be too stressed um, about the end result um, because you know the main thing is that they look nice and clean and as I said we are going to you know um, wrap these up so that they're perfect but I've done this today haven't I we have absolutely finished this bit so from here what I'm actually going to be doing is I'm going to clean all this up we'll let these settle here so I usually just put them on the tray just let them settle a little bit and um, then I'm going to wrap them up and I'll show you how I actually wrap them up so let's just sit them on here just for a mini and you don't want to be wrapping them up if they feel sticky or they're still a tiny bit warm uh, you want them to be really cool uh, otherwise you know they can sweat and everything else so 
we're not going to do that and as I said we're not going to wrap them in plastic I'm going to be wrapping them up in um, some wax proof paper and then we'll pop them into the boxes so let me get all that ready and I'll be back all right I'm back everyone so to do this we need some of these boxes which I'm going to fold up I do actually get these from Sud Off and as I said they are the absolute perfect um, size so you can see it's the perfect size to fit one of these in so we'll pop that there then I've just cut some paper like this all I'm cutting is some um, this is actually baking paper so it's just a little bit of a um, wax one so it is you know like I said it is the baking paper and all I'm going to do is I'm literally going to put it like this face down um, and I'll show you how I'm going to do it I mean find the way it fits best it's going to fit this way best in here and this is literally all I'm going to do so if you can see that it's just folded here and all I'm going to do is I'm going to use no sticky tape at all because I'm trying to limit any sticky you do not need any sticky tape on this because it's going to hold perfect in the box so you can see how I've wrapped the ends around and all we're going to do now is literally slide it in the box um, and you can see that it's slid in the box perfect just wrap that bit down seal the lid off and look it's looking beautiful and now we do have our label so like I said this is my label um, and for these beautiful labels hopefully you can see what I'm doing all I'm doing is sitting it in the middle and I just want to make sure the fairy um, the watermelon fairy is in the center so you can see that's in there and then literally all I'm going to do is wrap this around now this paper that I'm using I printed um, through a normal printer this is just a standard a basic standard printer nothing too exciting so you can see that looks a bit pretty doesn't it um, and the printer that I'm actually using is just I, th I think it's about $35 my local department store and um, yeah so nothing exciting but the paper is it's just an adhesive paper so it's not um, you know top of the grade it's not like um, uh, vinyl or anything like that it's nothing exciting like that but it's pretty cheap it works out to be like five to seven cents um, so I mean we can't complain about that can we so you know and you, like honestly you, you don't need to have the best paper in the world um, you know just to do these labels it's for a box and they're going to throw it in the bin it doesn't need to be waterproof or anything like that so that's why I'm doing these ones so I hope today this video has been helpful and this is literally what I do with all of my products so what I actually show you on here is literally what I, I do you know as time goes on to be honest I will probably end up having things like this printed professionally because that would take away you know a lot of um, time for me but as it is at the moment I have no real interest to um, you know get absolutely everything done like that because that does cost a bit of money so you need to grow a little bit I think before you can afford to do that um, I know that I'm not in the position yet where I can afford to get all the packaging on everything but slowly slowly as I go um, that's definitely the route that I'm going to go so anyway hopefully this video has been super helpful for you I really hope it has I'm hoping to do um, a video soon on some um, some bath bombs. Maybe I'll do an Easter one or something just as a, you know, like I won't sell these Easter ones, I don't think. Um, but anyway, I hope you have all loved this. And do remember now at the moment, I've changed everything around so we can actually ship to the US. So you'll see the shipping, um, I put the shipping down, the cost is down a little bit shipping but do remember shipping is really expensive to the US I just sent a parcel um, to a lady and um, the so I think I ended up sending four soaps uh, or five maybe it was five soap it was just five soap or something and in that it ended up costing me so much money I think it was like $35 um, and I think that's what you pay basically on mine but that doesn't include the box or anything like that so yeah it's really expensive to send um, to the US but if you're buying something like earrings or something like that that's much cheaper doesn't cost as much to send something like that so um, yeah I definitely suggest you try and get a few items and it'll be more worth your while if you uh, want my things to be sent over there anyway thanks for watching my lovelies and I will see you on my next video bye friends